you think about that, Bruce? You know, when I when I did uh, my segment with Lifetime, I talked a great deal on that very subject about Hugh Hefner. And I told them that the world was sensationalizing him in his situation. That was the uh, American man's American dream to be uh, Hugh Hefner with a mansion full of Playboy bunnies running around at his beck and call to do what he wanted at any given time. And they sensationalized that. But because it's Robert and he's a black man, you know, it's unheard of. Who does this guy think he is? This is their attitude. What's the difference except the age and, and the color of their skin? You know, and, you know, Lifetime, they interview, interviewed me for four hours. They did not include that, though. They did not want that to come out from me. No, they only going to uh, use the stuff that they can use that's going to be damaging to them. They're not going to. Yeah. They're not Which is gonna... hardly nothing. I, I didn't say any damaging thing uh, about Robert. I wasn't there to do that. Yeah, I, I've been working for Robert Mann since 1990, <clears throat> and he's hosted lots of parties just like any other celebrity. And he wanted to make sure that the girls was coming in there were of age. So we had we had to do NDAs. We had to get their uh, their driver's license or state IDs, photocopy them, and attach them to the NDAs to make sure that these girls who were in there were of age. You know, it wasn't like, you know, anybody can come. That that That's so far from the truth, you know. And people act like, you know, Robert never hung out at Kenwood looking for nobody, man. That's, that's, that's some just fabricated bullshit, <laughs> right. period. Right. Fabricated bullshit. You know, what he looked like, you know, Robert, you know, when, when he got to the point where he knew he could be in the studio whenever he wanted to, that's what he was doing. He was in the studio creating hits. Like he said, uh, I admit, all he hears hits. That was literal, you know, so he stayed in the studio. He didn't, he didn't go to Kenwood looking for nobody. You know, he didn't have to. Right. You know, they taking a lot of things, man, and they running buck wild with it. And yeah. it's, 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 it's absolutely absurd, man. It's absurd. You know, and social media along with mainstream media, man, they took a lot of things and they twisted it, they turned it to fit they, uh, their criteria of what they were trying to make this docu-series about. Right. Now, you know, let, let, let's, let's talk about, you know, because, you know, I allegedly got this theory where how this whole thing played out. And you can tell me uh, what parts you think are sound right and what parts... Um, uh, aren't true at all. Now, when I, I got into this whole thing was me reporting on the verdict. After right. the verdict, um, I interviewed your cousin, Levi. Um, he let, let me let me straighten it out. Levi is not our cousin, man. You know, when you get into this business, man, uh, relatives start coming out the woodwork. Period. We don't have a cousin named Levi. <clears throat> you, do you know who Levi is? Yeah, I know who he is, but not not on a personal level. You but I know him? he's not our relative. I know my relatives, man. Right. And he is not a relative. Where he came from with that shit, you know, you know, I found out through the years, man. 
uh, we were touring all over the place, man, here and abroad. And we would go to a lot of different venues and stuff. And instead of them, them going to get Robert, they would come get me because I was his road manager and personal assistant. Bruce Harrison went out back looking for Rob, so they would come and get me. And I would get back there. Where, where are they at? Oh, her right there. Ma'am, can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for my cousin. I'm looking for my nephew, R. Kelly. Your nephew? How is he your nephew? He my nephew. No, ma'am, I'm sorry, but he's not your nephew. <laughs> right. well, how do you figure that? Because you're not my auntie. <laughs> right. I didn't say I was your auntie. I say, well, if you his auntie, you got to be my auntie because that's my brother. Right. And now they look stupid. And they come with the truth. Well, I just really want to get some, some, some tickets. And sometimes I would get them tickets and maybe a backstage pass or two because I realized they were just really over the board fans. They were just willing to do anything to get in the show, to, right. to, to get to see the show, you know. So that that happened. That happened out of seven days, five days, at least five days of the week. That happened. So you do you, have you ever met him? Met met the 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 the, the people? Levi. No, Levi. I've never met him personally. No, I haven't. I, so I you know, I've Rob seen pictures. Know huh? Do Rob know him? Have he ever been around Rob? Rob probably probably have been around him on you know on the basketball circuit or so, but I could tell you. It was nothing personal, you know, uh, where this guy could say, yeah, yeah, that's that's my cousin. You know, I, I don't think he would say that in front of Robert or me for that matter, because I'm going to set the record straight. You know, I, I take family serious, seriously, man. I don't just, you know, adopt people who say that they're relatives of uh, of ours. Because we have a very small family since the women in in our family start dying he, off. He, he texted me now. He said that that he's saying that he he's not related to Bruce or Carrie. Well, how the hell can he be related to Robert and not related to yeah, us? And we all came out the same said, room. Rob, our father is not his father, bro. Please clear my name, bro. Be fair. Rob father is not his father. It's not you, your father. You and Rob don't got the same father. So so let me ask you this. Does does this guy he has anything to do with Cassandra and uh Lisa? Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna call him right now. Because I can tell you right now, if he got anything to do with Cassandra and Lisa, um uh, that's a bunch of bullshit yeah. right there in itself. Yeah, hold on. I, I got you on the live real quick. You want to ask your question? Hold on. Yes, sir. All right, go ahead, uh, Bruce. Go ahead, Bruce. Yeah, well, so where, 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 where are you exactly related to Robert? Um, I'm related to Robert to his dad. Um, Through his dad. Um, who his dad is who? Who is his dad? Um. Pardon me? Huh? He said, What's his dad's that? name? What's his dad's name? For this, I want to say this to you very clearly, brother. He said, What's his dad's name? What's his dad's name? If I if I may be allowed to respond. Okay. As you know, I have never spoken on you. I've never spoken Yo, on you. No, come on, Levi. Don't do that. Don't do that, Levi. Don't do that. Don't do that. Levi, I don't listen. do that, Levi. I listen. A I answer listen. the question, Levi. Direct I question. I will listen, and then I'll speak, and then I'll let. All right, so just just speak. just answer his question. What's his What's his father's name? Bro, if you would allow me to speak, now that shouldn't be hard to give me a minute to speak. What I was saying to uh, Brother Bruce is this: as you know, Bruce. 
I myself, you, and several others have been the subject of death threats. There has been a concerted effort on the part of many to find out who I am, what I am, who my last name is, who I'm related to, how the family tree breaks down. I would never... I, I ain't got no death threats. For one. Yo, he, I, I you heard him? I, I ain't got no death threats, but what? I know Robert, my brother, we came out the same womb. We got the same last name, Kelly. And, and I think it's really ironic that uh, Lisa and Cassandra uh, came up with, you know, their last name is Kelly. That's really, really, uh, really ludicrous to me. So their name was already Kelly. Robert's name is Kelly. Our name is Kelly. How could that come about? Okay, back up, back up. Stop right there. Stop right there. Wait, are you going? Are you going to ask his question about what's his father's name first? Listen, bro. Can I speak? That's all I want to do is speak. I listen all night. Hold on, brother. I'm not. No, I'm, hey, Levi. Hold on a second. He asked you a simple question. What is his father's name? Where is his father's name? I explained it to you. What you is it to he, he, I'm asking you to explain it to me. Allow me damn. I, I, I'm asking you to explain it to me because see, I've been I've been around like way before Rob even uh got oh, signed. Oh, you know we were in bands. Oh, I played oh, bass, right. keys, right, and all we, that. We're gonna let him talk, Bruce. Hold on, we're gonna let him talk. You know what I'm saying? Can, can you start first by telling him his father's name? Now, I'm going to say this again. If you don't get it, then I don't know what to say. The only, per the only people who know my full name, address, social security number are members of the FBI and Homeland Security. He ain't asking for your name, brother. He not asking for your name. He actually see, 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 this, this is why I don't do this. Cause see, that's when the bullshit come in. You know, and 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 and, and I avoid bullshit at all costs because I can see it coming a mile away. I see bullshit coming a mile away. Hold on, hold on. If you can't, if you can't answer a question, let's give him one more shot to answer the same. Man, you gave two shots. You gave him shots. He trying to he trying to go all off the the, the chart. And that don't that shit don't fly with me. That don't work with me. Right, hold on, hold on. Robbing my brother, hey, hey, you ain't hey, got hey, no hey. goddamn sister's name Lisa or no fucking sister named Cassandra or no cousin named Levi. I know my I know my family, and no goddamn Levi or no Cassandra or no Lisa is in my family. In your family, I've never claimed to be in your family. Robert is my goddamn family. And you ain't in his family. You ain't in his family. In no way, form, or fashion, pimp. Hold, hold, hold on, Bruce. Just hold on. I, I just want him to answer the question because he, he I, walking I, on I, a I, bullshit I, stage with me, and I ain't for that shit. Hold on, Bruce. I ain't for that. Hold on, Bruce. Levi, 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 Levi. Yeah. What is his father's name? I'm telling you that that is up to Robert to explain that to him and to explain that to whoever, whoever he chooses to explain it to. However, I'm going to say it to you again. Do you know his father's okay. name, yes or no? Definitely. All right. Definitely. And you saying you can't say his father's name because it, it will threaten your life. By telling this man his and, father's and name. What I said was... I cannot disclose any information pertaining to me and my family. He didn't ask you that. He asked it you is. That's, 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 that's that bullshit I'm talking about. So, you know, that will never get authenticated through me. Hold on, hold on, no. hold on. Have I ever, I'm asking Bruce a specific question. Have I ever claimed that my last name was Kelly? Yes or no, I'm asking Bruce this question. No, you no. said uh, R. Kelly's your cousin. Nobody said that you you said that was your name. Your name is your name is Levi for Kelly. We know you ain't saying your name is Levi Kelly, man. Stop playing games, man. Can I speak with Bruce, please? I'm asking Bruce. 
Have you had a kid with Robert? Can I speak? Yeah. Get some no, but but you yo know, yo my nigga, you not giving a direct answer. We we allowing you to speak. Yo, all right. So look, look, look. This is what I'm gonna do for you, Levi. Levi, Levi. This is what I'm gonna do for you. I'm gonna give you five minutes uninterrupted. Me and Bruce ain't gonna say shit and answer his question within your five minutes, bet? Thank you. Thank you. Do we got an agreement? We have an agreement. No, no, no. You said answer what question? Answer his question within your five minutes. As long as you need to take within five minutes to answer his question. Answer his question. Within what you going to say. Answer his question. Wait, wait. You said you're asking me to answer his question as it pertains to my last name? No. He wants to know what is his, his father's name. Tell him his father's name. Okay. If you know who his father is and you family and you know who his father is, what is his father's name? I'm going to say it. I can't say it no clear. I have never, ever once said in any way, shape, or form that I was related to Bruce, Kelly, Carrie, Kelly, the sister. None of them. Just start there. Well, how do you hear it? Don't say that yet. Bruce, 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 give him the five minutes. You said you were going to give me five minutes. Allow me to speak. Go ahead. Same shit, bro. Claim to be related to Bruce Kelly, 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 the sister, nor have I ever spoken to them, for one. For two, when I came to YouTube stating that I was R. Kelly's cousin, that was way before he was locked up. If your brother... Had a in any way, I was one of the first individuals to come to YouTube. If he had, if I was coming on as an imposter, he would have stated that for two. For three, I have never in my life, ever, when anyone has ever asked me about my relationship with my cousin, I have never stated that I was in your family. I hung around with you. My relationship with my cousin has been a relationship when I would see him in certain parts of the country when he would come to Detroit. That is our relationship. I'm trying to get an understanding here. You hung around with me. Where, where did you hang around with me? Say it again. I said, did you just say that you hung around with me? Yeah, that's what, that's what I just heard come out of your mouth. No, no, he didn't say that. No, he didn't say that. Okay, well, I just like to get shit clear. I mean, because that's what it sounds like he's saying. This is brother. Listen to what I'm saying. When, when we argue, we can't rationalize and think. Yo, 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 yo. yo. Levi, Levi, I'm going to send you the link. Come on the screen. I'm going to send you the link right now. Yeah, go ahead, Bruce. He, I'm I just... So hey, uh, bro, I, I I get to the nitty gritty, like my mother used to say, get to the nitty gritty of shit, and you cut out a whole bunch of bullshit, because all this, you know, trying to explain this and this and that and that, and you evading the question, that don't work with me, you know, you, you got to come with the real with me, because all that other shit that you're trying to put in, that don't uh, mesmerize me in no way, form, or fashion, you know, what's his dad's name? You got to go through, uh, you know, all this rigmarole and all this old shit like this. I'm not trying to hear all that shit because I'm really fed up with all these people, man. I, I mean, I, I never seen a media circus like I've been seeing since I got out of uh, uh, prison. Man. I could not believe what the fuck I was seeing on the Internet. You, you know, relatives come out the fucking woodwork. Like, who the fuck is these people? People uh, 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 contacted me uh, uh, via my Facebook page. Is this Levi guy really y'all cousin? Hell no. Not just no, but hell to the no. Like I said, 
I've been working with Robert since 1990. That's just on when he got signed, but way before then, we've been in bands with our mama, with ourselves, doing shows all over Chicago and all this. And there ain't no Levi never ever came up. So, you know, not 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 until Rob got into this melee and this jam did all these other entities of family members start, you know, coming aboard. And see, it's easy for them to make uh, 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 fans out there that's on YouTube believe some shit because they might know a little something. Because you do got a lot of male groupies out there that follow Rob just like uh, women do. They know about them. They can tell people a little something about them or whatever. But anybody can do that. Find out his background and be able to tell a little something here, a little something there. But when it comes down to authenticity, it's not there. And you, 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 you can't sell me on it. Just like uh, uh, one of them sisters going to call me, uh, a DM me telling me she think that it's time for us to meet. What the fuck for? What, what, what's important to meet you for? You're, you know, and, and this is the dumbest shit I ever heard. Y'all last name Kelly. My mama's last name is Kelly. Your dad's last name is Kelly. Is Kelly. You mean to tell me that's just a, a, a coincidence? <laughs> they was not married. So, you, you know, explain that to me. Uh, uh, in, in layman's term. So you saying that your mother's maiden name is Kelly? She never even been married. She ma she married. She she ended up getting married to our stepdad that we 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 have always considered our dad because he's really the only dad that we've ever known. Right. I mean, dad used to come around from time to time, but that wasn't really enough. Every six months or so. You know, that, that wasn't enough for me to really get attached to him as our dad. Our stepdad was there every day of the week. He chastised us if we, if we did wrong. I know, I know for a fact my mother loved him and he loved my mother. I've seen that on a day-to-day -day basis. So I can say Lucius was our dad and I know Robert can say the same thing. But you know, always that in the in the back of your mind, who was my real dad? You know, right? Happened. I remember one Christmas, his dad managed to get his phone number. This is when Robert was staying up north on Green Street. His dad called his house, told him, "Yeah, I'm your dad. I got a lot of pictures of me and your mom, and this and that, and this and all this and stuff." And Robert' question to him was, "Really?" You my dad? He said, where's my big wheel at? Where's my bike at? Where's my birthday cakes and candles and shit? You know, that's what he wanted to know. Right. And he asked him, please don't call my house again. Because I don't need you now. I'm a grown man now. But now you want to try to implicate yourself in my life. I don't need you. And I think I would have did the same thing, bro. Uh, how old was he at that time? I really do. How old was he at that time? Shit, Robert, Robert was shit. He's about 24 then. He's about 24, 25. Yeah. <laughs> And that was his first time hearing from his father since? That was the first time and the last time. I, I gave it I gave it back. Yeah. That was the first and the last time, man. Yeah. So and Robert didn't. And Robert? He didn't he didn't he didn't want to hear from him no more. Period. And and I can't say that I blame him, man. Why you want to contact him now? You had all these years to contact him to set some things straight, but you never did. Now Rob has any and everything that he could ever need in life. And now here you come. You want to appear talking about 
yeah, I'm good old dad. Well, whoop the fucking do. <laughs> you know, I mean, on the real, bro, I, I'm just keeping it 100, man. You know, I feel you. Yeah, there's so, so many things. Yeah. That, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, where I was going, like, uh, yeah, you know, Levi said he going to he, he be in five minutes. Uh, but like I said, this thing started, I, you know, I, I, I spoke on the verdict, and then from the verdict, I went to um, talking to Levi, and then from him, I started speaking to Angelo. I did an interview with Angelo, and then everything spiraled from Levi and Angelo. So uh -huh. my question to you is that how I, I see it after I look at all the pieces of the puzzle, do, are you, do you know who Cheryl Mack is? Cheryl Mack, yeah, I know. I, I worked. I worked alongside Cheryl. Yeah, she was stealing from Rob. She was stealing from him. You know, okay. I, and 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 there are a lot of things that Robert is guilty of. First of all, he trusts the wrong people too much. Period. He can know that they did something underhanded to take money from him and won't get rid of them. That's a big problem. That's a big problem. Because if they did something on that little small level, you think they're not going to do something big in which something big did happen? How could somebody like Cheryl Mack be getting royalties from Robert? That don't make no fucking sense whatsoever. How is she getting royalties? I'm going to just put it like this, man. Robert has a certain lack of knowledge academically. And, and when you come to him when he's in a situation where he may not want to be bothered with it and they come to him with an urgency, uh, we, need, we, need these, we need these documents signed because of whatever, and he signs them without reading them or having someone read to them, He's made several mistakes right there. Mm -hmm. I used to tell him coming up, now you 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 got a good career going. You know, um, your fans absolutely adore you. They love you. You know, but let's let's get you together. You need to know how to read. And you paying people to work your body out to give you the kind of body that you know women will desire. And you could take nice album cover pictures and stuff like that. Now let's get your mind right. You can get some people to come in and tutor you. You can pay them eight, nine hundred dollars a week, tutor you, learn how to read. Now you can go over some of these contracts yourself and understand different things. You know, instead of having to rely on somebody who bent out of shape to get you in the first place. They didn't want that. They didn't want him to learn how to read. They wanted him to stay just like he was because to, to, to them, he was the lick. Robert was a lick. And I hate to say that, but but uh, that's, just a, uh, that's just a realization of it, bro. Right. So, you know, when so what they say is that uh, allegedly Cheryl Mack got fired or whatever, and she went and tried to get a TV show based around uh, his lifestyle, which ultimately spun into surviving on Kelly. You know, she reached out to Tamara, and Tamara went and got, grabbed the girls allegedly, casted them, got all the girls, and you had to the cop uh, or the person that put out the 800 number, woo, woo, woo. Then you had Cash Jones with the book, um, Sex Me, Daddy's Little Freak, um, where she made up the, you know, the fake story about Rob. Then she met Rob and told him that she wrote this book. And then they took some of the book and coached some of the girls with it for Surviving R. Kelly. And that's where Surviving R. Kelly came from. Uh, allegedly, originally from 
Sharon Mack seeking out uh, a TV deal and then them getting the Clarys and the Savages involved. And that's and then the surviving R. Kelly comes. Then uh, uh, the Homeland Security person allegedly supposed to have seen it. And then that's where the indictment comes from. Okay. I could uh I could probably see that along with a whole lot of other uh issues that were going on at the same exact time, you know. But I I, I do believe and I seen I've seen with my own eyes and I you know um I'm 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 from the streets of Chicago too, man. And 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 and, and, and I know a snake when I see one. I know how they operate. And they were operating within the camp. You know, they they wanted to, uh, uh, you know, always talk privately with him because if, if they're talking about some things in front of me that I understand, that I'm going to question that shit right then and there. Like, there was things that came up with his accountant. And... I used to be like, you know what, to keep this all this bullshit down, had his dude audited. You need to have him audited. So you can make sure that your money is doing what it's supposed to be doing and that he's doing what he's supposed to be doing with your money. You know, all this, he my he my friend, it's my boy, and all this. How is he your boy? You just met this dude. When you met him, he was driving a goddamn Camry, a Toyota Camry. Then, not long after that, he's driving every series of bins damn near out. That don't, I don't, I don't get that. And all these years, Robert been telling him, I want my own business. He wanted to put together a cigar lounge. And he, he was at the cigar lounge and he had met this German guy. So they talked about doing an endeavor together to get this cigarette lounge off the ground. So Robert gave him Daryl's information, told him to call Daryl. They would correspond with each other to see if they can get this thing off the ground. And the guy called Daryl, but Daryl never called this guy back. So then he runs into Robert. And Robert's like, man, you you faked me out, man. You you never call. He man, I was calling all the time. Yo, yo, guy would never answer my calls. He would never answer my calls. You know, and Robert took that to Daryl. Why are you not calling uh calling a, a dude back? I don't remember getting any calls from him. You know, that that was his um theatricals on that but you can have a restaurant built a restaurant nightclub built you know but what Robert has been trying to do for the longest you couldn't do nothing with that right. it's the most it's the most craziest thing I've ever seen in my life man you so know let me ask you about um Cause yesterday I had uh, um, on Don on it, and before him it was uh, uh, Sharon Wimbush or Sharon Wimbush. Uh, where Sharon? Uh, you know, where where is her 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 her, her play in this? Cause you know, right now her, her and Don going. I'm gonna get on that later. But how how did she uh, play in this? And then I'm asking you about Dawn. Well, Sharon came aboard because she was a uh, a certified nutritionist. So Sharon was brought in to cook nutritious meals for the family, in which that's what she would do, what she would do when I would when I would come to the house on Green Street. Essentially, I would see her making meals and stuff like that. But, you know, being in that close proximity with Robert, his wife, and other people, like maybe um, 
um, like Sparkle, who uh, you know, incidentally was saying she she never had any kind of sexual relationship with Robert. That's a goddamn lie. <laughs> you know, I don't know what I don't know what they trying to protect or they trying to make themselves look wholesome or something, but uh <laughs> that couldn't be farther from the truth, you know. When women want something, man, they, they do what they feel like they got to do to get it, to try to get it. And, 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 and that's what I believe, what page she was on. Because I've seen her, say, you know, talk in a couple of interviews and she said they kept it strictly business. That was strictly bullshit. For Sharon? or No, Sparkle? I'm talking about for, for Sparkle. Okay. For Sparkle. Saying they, they, you know, it was strictly business. They didn't have any, uh, they didn't have any sex. And, you know, I mean, she basically said the same thing that Rob's wife said. When Rob, when, 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 when Andrea came on board, she was amongst two other dancers. Just as Earl, he was with two other dancers. They didn't even know each other. They didn't even know each other. When when uh, Robert held those uh, auditions, because Robert had initially had a group called R. Kelly and MGM, they won Big Break, the Natalie Cole's Big Break competition. Right. It wasn't for no record deal or anything like that. It was for one hundred thousand dollars. You got fifty thousand cash and fifty thousand prizes. And Robert, they actually took the national championship. And, and even back then, you got it was four guys: Rick, Mark, and um, it Rick, Mark, and Sean. Rick, Mark, and Sean. Okay, they made up MGM, mentally gifted men, and um, a guy that we grew up with had actually, he was loving what Robert was doing, tr uh, trying to accomplish as a young Chicago artist who has so much drive and energy for this, for this, for this craft, man, that he actually gave him $30,000 to shoot the video while you want to play me. So they went on, and, and, and at this point, Robert and MGM, they were signed with Tav Dash. They were signed with Tav Dash Records, in which Jav ended up buying Robert and the group out of that contract so they would be able to uh, commence business with Robert without any interruptions from Tav Dash. But, of course, you know, they wanted a percentage. So they got their percentage, but Robert was able to you know, go over to Jive Records and start working on his album immediately, and which he did himself. He didn't have nobody, uh, not not even the guys that he hired as his background dancers and whatnot. They didn't sing a lick on the uh, on the albums. Robert did all his own background vocals, lead vocals, all the music, and that was it. Right. So, so getting getting back to uh to to Sharon, right? Yeah. Um, her, her being there, um, like, what what, what was her relationship with him? They just Ooh, with, Robert, nutritionist? with Robert. Basically, bro, like I said, from what I saw, it was a basic uh. This is what I want. I, I I want these 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 type of meals cooked, um, some healthy stuff, and you know stuff like that. So she would keep the refrigerator stocked with uh, the food Rob said he likes, and she would make them in a nutritious way, you know. Right. But in 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 the process of doing that, she couldn't help but see all the other bullshit that's going on around and inside the house. Right. You know, uh, I think she she came across a photograph or something that was 
um, you know, it was kind of revealing. You know, it, it, it you know, it, it was re a revealing photo of her. You know, so now you 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 know, you know, you you you've been telling all these lies that you 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 never did anything and all this and stuff, but now here this shit is starting to surface. Oh yeah, are you saying that Sharon found the picture of Sparkle? Yeah. Yeah, right. these, these pictures with her partially nude and see-through right. clothing and all this and stuff. And she kind of got hot and she asked Sharon, like, who are you? Like, uh, she felt like she was in competition or something. Right. But so Sharon why, wasn't even on that. So why did Sharon stop working with uh, your brother? Why did she stop? Yeah. I can't give you specifics on it, man. I, I'm not going to even try to. But you know, I, I, I think she just felt like uh in order to get away from all the, the 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 mega drama and stuff that was starting to happen with his wife and all these other uh female entities, you know, she just decided to move on and and uh you know do business elsewhere. So that wasn't you, you wasn't that so terminate her, she left, huh? Are you saying that he didn't terminate her? She just left? From what I understand, she left. Okay. Now, yeah, uh, from what I understand, she left. Now, right, if it was so something the else. Reason, the reason I asked you that is because she said that, like, when the, this whole case started, you know, a lot of people looked to her as a credible source for your brother. But you know, I you know I asked her recently. You know, when when's the last time you seen him? And she's like twenty years ago, right? So if she seen him twenty years ago, my question is, um, you know, we all advocating out here, even people that don't know him. And then she's uh, she's out here. You know, she's been on court TV speaking on his behalf. This, you know, this, that, and the other. I don't know if he asked her to do that or not. That's besides the point because she, right. she did it. You know what I'm saying? But right. Um, my thing was, I'm asking you that because what, what, what if if Rob got in trouble and she says to me that she reached out to help him. But she and I said, "Well, who did you reach out to?" She said, "Don," because Don was the point person, or he went on the news and got in front of the camera and said that he was the representative. So she reached out to him. But at that time, Rob wasn't in jail, so if right. she had a relationship with Rob, why she didn't just call y'all? Right. Right, I I, I could uh, I could see where that would be relevant, but you know, back then, you know, you got a lot of different uh, moving parts, man. You got a lot of moving parts that are trying to get things done. You know, we we would be home for uh, two weeks, then we go back on the road. We on the road for three and a half months, and. You know, then may come home for another week. Then we go back out. Now we gone overseas for three to four months. You yeah, know, but, but if she's reaching out to Don because he's saying that he's the what he say he was the advisor and consultant. But but yeah, look, look, let me explain this. Don Don was not doing any of that, bro. He Don just came aboard 2018, bro. Right, so that that's why I'm asking you if if she had a relationship with your brother and they was good, why is she talking to Rob? I mean, Don, or not you, or or you get what I'm saying? If he's in trouble, he just got out, and you're going to contact some nigga that you see on on the news that's saying he's a representative. If y'all got a good rapport, why not reach out to Rob directly? Mm hmm. I'm just asking the question because then, then she reached out to Dawn and then now her and Dawn is going through some shit 
You know what I'm saying? And I'm just wondering now, damn, if you would have just reached out to Rob, you wouldn't have got in in in, in, in touch with Dawn and y'all wouldn't have fell out because they had a whole bunch of shit. But, you know, I mean, she did like two videos that I wasn't happy with. And I expressed that. You know that. You know, yeah. especially yeah. with my picture on it, because I don't want to be involved in none of they shit. Right. Right. I, I understand I mean, that, man. A, a, a obstructive journalist. And I could talk to her one day and she don't like him. And I could talk to Dawn the next day and he don't like her. And I could still interview anybody and get and not be involved in it. That's what I want to do. But man, she put my picture in there. And then the, the, she put up this girl, uh, Don's baby mother, picture up, and then the kid, his daughter, and then his son. And like when you when you doing that, and this go for all y'all in these YouTube wars, that girl ain't asked to build, get her picture put on the internet. Everybody calling this girl, they calling me because my fucking name is on the picture and shit. And to come to find out. The way she posted that, that daughter, the, the, the little girl in the picture with the thing in her nose was his daughter. And the baby is his son, but that wasn't the mother. That, that's, the, that, that's what would be the heart. And the, the little girl that's in the picture got the thing on her nose. She's not even with us no more. You feel me? It's not like, like, this is like, it, it's going too far, brother. It's going too far. It's going too far. Right. And then she's she asking for the, the FBI, Homeland Security, and, and court, like, it, it, what, how is this helping your brother at, at all? How does any of this stuff with these people... Do you like? Do you know? Do you see all this stuff that go on? You asking me? Do I see what's going on? Where, where all these these people that are supposed to be supporters of your brother, how they go back and forth and calling the police on each other, cars yeah. burnt, and, and none of this shit got nothing to do with him. It's 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 the most ridiculous shit I ever seen in life, man. This is this is the biggest circus melee I've ever seen. And, and and to think that this is about my brother, you know, not not somebody else that I can, you know, just sit back and say, "Wow, they going through some shit." This is my brother, man. That you know, I've been on multi sold out tours with. You know, where people think, "Oh, y'all y'all having a ball." We was working our ass off. Because putting together a Robert Kelly show, or R. Kelly show, was not an easy task. At the end of the day, when that, when that, when that audience is satisfied, it's because a lot of, a lot of, a lot of things went behind that right, to make right. that happen. And, and, and believe it or not, it had a whole lot to do with me. You know, so. People can say what they want to, man. They can say what they want to. I know what I've seen out there on the road and uh, what it took to get those shows going. And it certainly didn't have anything to do with no damn racketeering or no sex trafficking. Right. You know, and I know damn well I wasn't involved in no sex trafficking or no uh, racketeering. Right, right. Robert don't even know shit about no shit like that, man. All he knows is to go into the studio and hear hits and, 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 and translate those hits that he's hearing in his head to a master and do what he do. Mix that shit down and make it a hit. That's all he know how to do, man. He don't know nothing about no Rico act the man act and all that, he lost. Right. When they go to talking talking that stuff, man, he's totally lost. Right. See, and, and, and that, that that was the reason why I played the Playboy, uh, the girl uh from Playboy, um, Holly Madison interview to explain that is the same shit. 
This nigga ain't running no goddamn. Nobody looked at uh, uh, Hugh Hefner as uh, uh, Rico and racketeering. That that shit is a, 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 a learning lesson, a history lesson. And for the people that can't see it, it's judgmental on a racial level. That's the reason for playing that shit. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She got she texts me mad at me. Yo, why you got Bruce Kelly up there sitting there waiting? You showing this Playboy stuff? That shit is disrespectful. No, it's not showing you that along with this audience is showing that yo, you anybody, nobody can say, yo, that that you heffin is like that that's similar to my brother more than you. Cause you worked with him, you traveled with him. You know what I'm saying? This man ain't never getting in trouble, and he has seven women living with him. Never been in trouble for none of this shit. And they idolized him. Hey, they they thought many, he was the greatest thing since like great. How many black celebrities we know when they got on his fucking cover? Naked. In the magazine. Yeah. Young enough to be his granddaughters. Great granddaughters. Great granddaughters. All that kind of stuff. But they, you know, that, that, that never once came up, though. Never once came up. So. That man went to his grave with it, with it, without it even being a thought. And the crazy thing is, when you look at the date on, on this Holly Robinson thing and her book coming out, and everything that's June 23rd of 2015. Right. It's like that shit, they, they saw that shit and they gave them the idea. Hey, fuck it, yo, damn, that sound like R. Kelly. Yo, let's boom and, and come with the whole fucking story. That shit uh -huh. is June of 2015. So let me ask you. Yeah, Dawn. Uh, did did you see the interview with him? Yeah, I I I seen I seen the interview, and and, and it you know it was typical it was typical um, West Side slick ass um, you know trying to just get things done his way, you know try to hide shit from Robert, you know. Robert was shocked as hell to know that Killer was uh there, and then when then Robert immediately like you heard from Bruce. Soon as he said that, I hear Don say he back locked up, and then Kill uh, 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 uh he, he back locked up. Now Don puppeteering my little brother, he puppeteering him, you know. And I, I, I don't even think Killer uh, realizes the significance of that. You know, you, you, you got to have this guy issue you out statements to say you talking to your own brother. And all he can say is, they number love, they number love. <laughs> Rob didn't even want to hear that shit, man. I know Robert, like the back of my hand. He he he, uh, he he made another comment like, "Oh man, get off that shit." He didn't so, even address that. How, how how do you feel seeing uh, your brother uh, working with Don? You know, it's it's like Robert is not really working with him, man. Robert Robert has found out that Don has in his possession. His uh, his uh, his masters and some of his um, and some of his intellectual property, some some of his music from his from his um, you know, from his vault. And and and, and Don has but one thing on his mind, and that's getting that music to be sold overseas. You know, cause he 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 talking like uh, they're using him, um, and infringing on his copyright, like uh, his image and stuff like that. Which that's absolutely true. 
You can't do that. How you just go use him and just put him on this program and he ain't gave you no kind of consent. And, and uh, R. Kelly is just like Clorox bleach. It's a brand. And you using it freely. Crazy, man. So it's the craziest shit. It's the craziest show on earth. So you so you in your opinion, you don't think that uh Rob would be happy with, with your brother working with Don? With who? Kill the work on with uh Don. First of all, Rob don't Rob don't have any idea that Killer is working with him in any aspect that has to do with his music. No, he don't have no idea of that. But, but, uh, but, 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 but I told him, though, in my last letter, and see, I know by looking at that interview, he hadn't found out yet. Right. Because when I sent that letter to him, I... Uh, I let him know. I let him know a, a lot of things that's that's going on with uh with Mr. Russell and with with uh our brother uh Carrie. And I expressed to him that I will not be having any dealings with him for as long as the rest of my life. Period. Because you did what you did to our brother, and then you turn around and did the same shit to me. Like, screw me, and we supposed to be working together. We were on the verge of doing our own documentary, Kelly Family Redemption. You know, to try to pull our family back together, man. Right. And, and, and I had a discussion with him that we were going to own our own footage. We could, we could uh, edit it the way that we want to. We can include our own music in it if that's what we want to do. Which, that's what we were going to do. Right. He got jealous of me, man. My own brother? Really? I, I, I never get it. I will never get that, man. So where 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 do we expect to see in this this next uh, surviving R. Kelly? And for all those who want to uh, who have the question, why would you do the, the the surviving R. Kelly series? What's your answer to that? My my answer is this: I feel that everybody in that. Uh, you know, in in in, in that um, group is 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 down and Rob. That was the agenda. But I am a voice to let people know. Robert wasn't just somebody who who didn't care uh, uh, about fifteen year olds being at his party. He wanted to know their ages. And if they were underage, put them out. And that happened. You know, so I, I, I don't, I just, I don't want nobody sitting up here saying, oh, well, he's, he's where he's at because, you know, he was doing those things. Right. You know, and, 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 and dude has set up and said a lot of things to that nature that you know led me to believe that he's really glad Rob is where he's at because had Rob not you know had he not gone there then they wouldn't he would not be in control of the materials that he has and the works that he has planned to do for Robert and himself, because what you know, I, I don't care what he say, you know, it's 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 money out there to be made 
and he trying to get his hands on some of it. It ain't. He didn't know. Oh, when Don say that he gave he gave uh, uh, Carrie one of Rob's expensive watches because you know he was looking out for him. You say was I there? No, no. Did you did you see that in the interview yesterday? Don say he gave Carrie one of his watches. He also showed us like uh, his bill. Uh, Rob's Billboard Award was in his house. And, you know, along with some other memorabilia. Uh-huh. Like, yeah. I've um, seen a lot of those things. I've seen a lot of those things, and I, I really had to just play it cool. And, yeah, I took some 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 things because I felt like this is my brother's shit. What gave you the right to take that? He didn't tell you to take that. So did he, did he ask for it back? Did who ask for what back? Did Rob ask uh, Don for his stuff back? Yeah, he, he told him he wanted his shit back. He told him he wanted his shit back. When did he tell him that? He told he just told him that recently because I know Robert found found out because I told him. When I wrote him and I sent him pictures of mom and his kids and, 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 and some pictures that I just know just just melted him. Right. You know, so yeah, pictures go a long way in jail. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do, man. Yeah. So How you I know about- he was happy. I know he was happy with getting those pictures, man. You Damn. know. Where where you at with Dre right now? With with Drea? Yeah. Man, look, Drea was Drea's a liar too. You know, she set up and said things like uh her and Robert didn't have no sexual um relationship. It was strictly business and all that and stuff. This girl, this girl was She was engaged to be married. When we were going out on tour, her guy would drop her off and she would, um, he would pick her up as well. And, you know, he'd get out the, uh, get out the car, greet her, kiss her in her mouth. And I'd be like, oh, if he only knew what she's doing her damn mouth. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I'm just keeping it real, bro. Right. You know, that's the, you know, but but you you out here paying yourself as a saint. You right. know, talking about that uh, she believed the reason why Rob fell in love with her because she was such a saint and 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 she was into the Lord and all that and stuff. You 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 need to go fall off a bridge somewhere because you 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 want some you want some bullshit just like the rest of them, right? You know, and she did dirty little tactics and stuff, man. You know, to to put his kids against him, telling them, "Yeah, your dad's coming to pick you up to take you to Disneyland." Ain't even talk to him. He's coming uh, Friday. Going to come get you. And then Rob don't show up because it was never a plan to take him to Disneyland in the first place. Right. Oh my God, man. Yeah, man. So, so they, so and let me, I'm just going to ask you, uh, I'll say some names and you, you say, uh, you just let me know if they for you or for your brother or against your brother. You know, because there's so many names. Um, what, what's the dude name? Uh, Will? Edie? Yeah. Will, Will, Will is, he's, a, he's a cool brother, but here's the thing, man. When you got somebody like Robert and then you got, you got different entities trying to take him out as far as Taking his his uh all his royalties, you know, that's all they care about. 
because they see that, you know, Robert's ship is sank or sinking. So they next they next things is to capitalize off of the royalties that they uh, have state claims uh, with. Right. But, you know, Don actually cut that shit off, though. He cut it off. So they like, you, what, we, we're not going to get the money for this quarter. Yeah, this quarter, that quarter, no other quarter. It's <laughs> over. You know? Right. So that's what just, about, that's the way it is. What about Keith? Now, Keith, Keith is a trooper. We grew up with Keith. And Keith would, he would want to see me and my brothers unite. He would want to see us unite. But see, I'm starting to get some flaky things about that. You know, because I immediately went to Keith and asked him, man, did you know that a dude got Robert's uh his masters. Do you know that? No, I didn't know no, I didn't know nothing like that. <laughs> I'm like, you, you need you need to let Rob know, man. You need to let him know. Because you know doggone well Rob and gave that dude no permission to take his his intellectual properties out of here. And then you only be all secretive about where it's at and all this and stuff. No. I want to say that Don said they, you know, they 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 took the stuff together. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, you know, I I would have to think that uh Keith was talking about something else of his taking. Cause he told me he had nothing. He had no idea that Don had took some. Um, um, no, you know what Don said. Don said he got some stuff too. That's what Don said. Keith got yeah. some stuff too. Yeah, he, he did. It's like it's like you know, uh, 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 come on out. They called us. <laughs> right. Put your hands up. They called us. You got caught. Now you telling everybody come out. They got us. You know, one of them. That's what I look at that ass, man. Right, right, right. You know. All right. What about Bubba? Man, I, you know, I, I, I don't have patience for. I don't have patience for guy groupies, bro. I don't. <laughs> Because some of the things that I have saw out here touring and stuff, and you 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 have, you know, a million guys at the door waiting on Rob, and then you have some girls, they trying to walk with Rob, but the guys is clubbing them out the way, <laughs> pushing them to the ground like they the bitches. And that 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 used to fuck me up. What? What are you doing? You got these male groupies, yo. I see them all the time, brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Man, look. This shit is really spacing me out, bro. It's spacing me out and it's stressing me out. <laughs> right. Um, who else is there? Uh... So have you met any of these girls? You ever met Asante McGee? Yeah, how could I not meet them? I mean, I've been I've been working for Rob since 1990, bro. How could I not meet some of these girls? Did, did, did he ever have I, a, did he ever have a, a relationship with Asante McGee? Not a business relationship, a personal one. Well, I I can't tell you, I can't tell you this that. I have actually seen them 
getting down or anything like that, but I know my brother. Right. And I know if she around, she she getting down with some of the same shit them other girls getting down with. Right, right. Period. She okay. ain't no she, she ain't no she ain't nobody no special than the next person. Right. You know. So, you know, that's that's uh that goes without saying, man. It what goes about, without uh, saying. What about Barry Hankerson? Man, Barry was a a master manipulator, man. I I um I used to just sit back and watch him operate. I remember after we did uh we were in Miami for three and a half months, Robert was doing the album R. Kelly. Uh instead of him getting us hotel rooms, he got us a little Spanish villa. So we all it just me, him, and Carrie. We stayed at this little villa. And uh, when we left Miami, we ended up going to California. And I remember being in Barry's office at, at, on Sunset Boulevard at Blackground. He was talking to Johnny Gill's people. And Robert is going to produce a track for Johnny. And, and uh, Johnny was so he was so tipsy that he couldn't even he couldn't even do anything. He couldn't he he couldn't he couldn't do no vocals, you know. So they had to postpone it, and which it got postponed all the way to Chicago. Right. We had to actually wait till we got in Chicago before they actually, you know, started vocals on it. Because he had already did the music, now he need the vocals on it. Right. It's crazy, man. So he did the vo he needed the vocals and what happened? Huh? You said he needed the vocals on it and, and Johnny couldn't do them? No, he could he couldn't do them. He was drunk. Right. And then I remember because of that. Barry penalized the company, said, you know, we're getting $150,000 for Robert to go in the studio to do, you know, to produce this. But you know what? We're going to have to have $300,000. Absolutely. Whatever you, whatever you need. Whatever you need. Wow. You know, that's the kind of power that Barry had. Because he knew what he had, man. Right. Barry knew he had a top notch, bona fide producer, singer, songwriter, composer. Right. So he got cocky. He yeah, got we, cocky. What, what you call it? Um. Yeah, they uh, Dana J. They jumped all over this brother the other day. You know that brother. No, 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 not not really. And they don't even really know Rob, man. I mean, you got people that learns Robert's schedule and they'll come to see him pull up so they can follow the bus and all this and stuff. So you know, you know, you never met him personally? Met who? Dana J. Yeah, yeah, oh, I've met no. him several times. Yeah, so why everybody? I've met him several, like met him several times, but I just don't associate with everybody on those levels because my commitment was for Robert. Right. My commitment was to Robert. I mm -hmm. I had to make sure that he got the biggest dressing room. I had to make sure that his his um you know his 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 food was uh uh going to be writer, right his, his writer writer yeah, yeah make sure his writer was right yeah. you know uh a lot of times Robert would be late to these different shows so some of the other artists the artists that were opening acts would actually have a bigger dressing room than Robert now I gotta go tell them they gotta get out right. Y'all got to get out because Robert got this room. Right. And they hated that shit. But I used to have to use 
the strong arm of Ra in order to pull off some of that shit. <laughs> For real. Right. What you yeah. going let me ask you. Um this Jennifer uh Bonjean, the lawyer that uh got R. Kelly off on his appeal. Do do she uh give you hope for your brother having a chance? Did she get what not? I said, do she give you hope that your brother could get out? To a certain extent, yeah. And then not only her, but I I uh I communicate with the man upstairs and he gives me insight that I believe that Robert has a chance on getting out you know especially because you 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 looking at all these people testifying but a lot of these people testifying are not credible no not at all they're not credible man so how you gonna i don't i, just, I don't get it i don't i, I just can't get that you right. know yeah I know if they say people hear me talking about people playing my lives right now. I know if they playing my lives and they don't want to get striked, they better fucking stop right now. That's what I'm mm -hmm. telling you. These motherfuckers is crazy. Mm -hmm. These motherfuckers do not fucking create content. They remix and and remix your shit and post it. Now you running my live while I'm live? Bad enough y'all niggas try to go live when I go live like you going to hurt some shit. Now y'all motherfuckers is running my live while I'm live. I'm going to, I'm striking your page as soon as I get off this shit. Uh-huh. But, um, hey, is there anything else you want to add, man? I just, I just, um, I just want to, you know, I just want to let, I just want to let Mr. Russell and Carrie know that I see what they trying to do but it's not going to fly that it's not going to fly because I'm going to stick I'm going to stick my 2 4 10 25 55 65 cents in in all that shit Robert going to know what y'all doing with his shit while you sitting up here putting him on somebody's live that he don't have no idea. And I know Robert would not have agreed to do that. And then, and then you set up there and 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 you 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 pimp and killer telling him what to say. You know, that was the grittiest shit I have seen in such a long time. Yo, just, just for the record, and I know that a fucking R. Kelly didn't ask me to remove that, but I removed that shit last night immediately because, you know, just out of, you know, uh, let's just say proper etiquette. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, that was cool, bro. Yeah, so I, I, I took that out, but I, I, I know what you're addressing. So which call it um uh I told I told Levi to forget it. Don't even come on because he, he took too long. You know what I'm saying? So Oh I know he um he couldn't address me, bro. Cause I, I wasn't um I wasn't trying to cater to his long drawn out man, dude. Get, <laughs> get to the point. You you ain't gotta come with all this old dragging out shit, man, bro. <laughs> I'm from the street, and I, I know bullshit when I hear it. You right. know, so. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, let me ask you. Did you see this this recent shit with Portia from the Real Housewives of Atlanta? She wrote a book, and now she's talking about she came to see Rob one time, and he asked, he asked her to take her clothes off. No. 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 I didn't I, see that. That, that's new. It just came out today, maybe last night. But oh, you know, really, yeah. I guess you know everybody. You know, it's a book. She writing a book. She got to put some shit in there to make 
motherfuckers uh, go and get it. Some shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, Oh, we would have been heard this about this years ago. She been on TV forever. She could have been mm. putting that nigga out there if that was the case. All right, well, I ain't gonna hold you, brother. I know it's getting late and shit, but uh, if there's anything you want to say right now, the floor is yours, man. Like I say, I just want them to know that I know what they what they doing or what they call themselves attempting to do. But um, I'm going to be right around the corner. And I'm going to let Rob know every damn thing that they're doing. Period. If you think you're doing shit in the dark, there is a light where Robert is. And that light will be on y'all. Because I'm going to let them know exactly what they're doing. Right. With his music. Or what they're attempting to do with his music. That's all I gotta say. All right, brother. Well, I appreciate you, man. You know how to reach me if you need to holler at me, man.